sure that's the case. And, and again, we're just keeping our fingers crossed for nobody getting injured, including the firefighters who have to go in. Of course, those folks are such brave people anyway. We love them. So they we do want the firefighters job. to be okay. All right, let's talk about something that really has you angry. Yesterday, um, and I did not see the episode, but Oprah Winfrey touted her trip to the Yearning for Exclusive Zion Ranch. Exclusive access. And you which are is untrue because of, a bunch of crews have already been in there. But now Oprah, yeah, the grand dom of television, St. Oprah, is going to go set the world straight on polygamy. And you know what? She perpetrated a lie to the American okay, public. Okay, now is that her fault, though? She goes in there knowing that these people are controlling who she has access to, who she gets to interview. She, her big thing was, I'm going in there with no preconceived notions. I won't judge. And I think that's wonderful to engage in this dialogue. But of course, but for Willie Jessup and all of these women to say we don't do underage marriages is a bold face lie. And she didn't they, follow up on she that. She never. And I maintain that people can't cover the history of can't cover the story of polygamy unless you know the history. The whole it's a systemic, a chronic pattern of abusing young girls, depriving them of education, and forcing them into marriages. And for those people to stand wide-eyed and tell Oprah Winfrey that we don't do that sort of stuff is a lie. She sat down with a young woman who's, who had left with her mother and then went back because she liked the polygamous lifestyle. Oprah said, do you know of any other young girls who are married? That young girl said, no. Well, the photograph of Warren Jeffs with that 12-year-old, that's, that's, that's her little sister. So for that little girl to get on and say, I don't know of any other children being married, is an absolute lie. Oprah either wasn't smart enough or didn't have the guts to follow up because you can't get on. I never have got onto that compound because I'd ask the follow-up questions. Right. They've let a million people so Oprah can have her exclusive. She helped uh, perpetrate a deception on the American public last night, and Oprah Winfrey ought to be ashamed of herself. Okay, but I will tell a little bit of the backstory if you don't mind. We just talked during the break, and I said, I'm surprised Oprah doesn't get you on the show. You are known around the country um, for being kind of the for on the forefront because of this. They made, they, but, but they, they made you me. mad. They made you mad. They didn't treat you well. And I said, well, do you they, think you like No, no, they're just get dishonest. The they get a bunch of little arrogant producers in all these shows. They all come to me first. They want help. I do. I try to help them as graciously as I can. And then they turn around and take my work and say, this is our exclusive work. And Oprah did that. Dr. Phil has done that. Take my work, our work at this station, which we can be very proud of. A lot of cameramen, a lot of people have contributed to our groundbreaking work on this story. They take our work and then they immediately say, this is our exclusive for their show. They're dishonest. Everybody, the problem with this story, everybody's a liar. And unless you know the history, you don't know where the lies. So are. what do you do now? I mean, do you write a letter to her producer? No, I don't care. Right? No, no, I don't care what Oprah Winfrey does. She can do it. The, the American public got, uh, she got played like a tool last right. night. And the American public, you want to watch Oprah's show. These people have a right to talk. They should be engaged. That's all good. But then go watch our documentary, Colorado City and the Underground Railroad, and you'll see why the, the polygamists, or the FLDS are down in Texas, because they do force these underage girls into marriage. And you'll see why you're not invited for tea over there. You know what? I'm a little too, I'm a little too rough a company to, for Miss Winfrey, and I understand. You know, I'm an outdoor pet. She's No, a, but hopefully one day, despite, I mean, because she's got an ego as Mike, so hopefully one day, because you do deserve to be on that show. And I, I, you know what? It's her show. I get, my, I get plenty of TV time. Well, listen, I will watch her documentary. I've, I've already seen it, and you've done a fantastic job. Thank you, Tara. And I will give you credit for all the work. No, you know what? Time. It ain't about credit. It's about helping the children in that community. I agree with you. And I Oprah agree. Winfrey didn't help last night. But you're right, though. I mean, she got the exclusive, and, and everybody's got the CNN's been in there twice. Yeah, Oprah's not telling the truth. Oprah I didn't get to see it. Now I want to go watch it. All right, it is 721. Coming up next, a check of traffic, a check of the forecast.